Hi everybody, it's Jill with Greenwood Girl Cards and welcome back to my channel. Um, I want to thank all the new subscribers that have joined me um, and also welcome all of my friends. So uh, I am here today to share some Christmas tags as well as some fall inspiration. And I'm going to start with one set of Christmas tags, then I'll move on to some cards I made and then do a second set of Christmas tags towards the end. So um, first I'm going to share how I created this uh, tag here. And um, this does use some products that are not necessarily what do I want to say? Uh, one of the dyes is retired, this candy cane dye, but you could use any candy cane dye that you have to create a candy cane tag. So this is just an idea. Um, I get lots of questions about the products I use, so I, I just want to make you aware of that up front. Um, I use this holly dye. A lot of people have asked where I got my holly dye. I believe this is either a Nellie Snellen or a Marianne Creatables or Marianne Craftables. It's very old. I think I've had this dye for over 10 or 15 years. So, um, you know, maybe not quite that long. I'm trying to remember, but my son's 13 years old, so right around there. Um, anyway, uh, so this is a holly dye, but I also wanted to show you an alternative holly dye. Uh, this is a product from Gina Marie Designs. Um, if you try, type Gina Marie Designs dyes into any website, it should bring up WholesaleCraftingSupplies.com, and that's her website. And um, I ordered this dye because this is the most similar I've ever seen to this. So if you're wanting an American product, um, Gina Marie Designs is, is an option, okay? So I just wanted to show you that, too, because that's you definitely could use that. Um, I die cut uh, mine from Holly, uh, uh, the Holly, rather, from felt. Oh my goodness, I can't even talk. Uh, so uh, when you die cut felt, if it's fraying a little bit when you try to remove it from the die, then just add an 80 pound uh, paper shim to the top of your cutting sandwich and usually that'll take away the fraying. So, um, so that is what I use to create the holly. This is, a lot of people have asked to see the die that I, that I use for the candy canes so that if you're ever on the hunt on eBay, you'd be able to look for it. This is what it looks like. It's a lifestyle crafts cutting die. It has two pieces and most of the dies you see out there, they just usually have one. And I think that's what makes this die so unique. I've been asking for several years if uh, we are memory keepers who took over lifestyle crafts if they could bring this die back. I think there's a lot of people that ask for it and would like it. Um, or po perhaps another manufacturer could do something similar where they make a two-piece uh, candy cane tag with a, with a hang tag uh, grommet on it. So anyway, so that's what it looks like in case you want to look for it on eBay. Um, but as far as I know, it is retired and I look for it and I never see it anymore. So, but there is, there are um, candy cane dyes on the market that you can use. Uh, I believe Memory Box has one this year. They just may not have the backer so that you can do the two-tone effect um, with the candy canes. And uh, you guys have seen me show these before, but like it allows you to get two-toned effects when you make them. Um, that one's a shabby chic version. Uh, I can show you. I don't know if I have any two tone ones made. Oh, here we go. So here's one that I made last year. This has got music paper in red. So that's what's neat about having the two pieces is you can actually make it kind of look like a striped candy cane. So, all right, moving on. So that's the die that I used for the candy cane. Uh, for the backer of the tag, so this red backer piece, this tag looks like this, and this is a product from Paper Tray Ink. And I'll be showing you different sizes of this from some dyes from Pretty Pink Posh in a moment, okay? So this is the dye that I used um, from Paper Tray Ink to create my backer for the tag. And then I used this set of, um, oops, this set of square dyes uh, to create a uh, the paper, the pattern paper panel. And the, this pattern paper is from Arala Miha shop on Etsy. Betty shop, um, if you've been with me a while and followed my channel, then you know that I use a lot of Arala Miha shop on Etsy's uh, digital papers. And the reason I like digital papers when I'm making tags is if I want to make a set of six tags and I'm using a six by six paper pad, I oftentimes don't have enough 
of the same pattern to create six identical tags. If you don't care about that, you can use any paper you have. Um, but when I'm designing and I know I'm going to do sets of tags, I like to be able to print a paper that I'm going to have enough of or purchase uh, a pad of paper with a lot of the same pattern in it. So um, anyway, so a Rala Miha shop is where I, I got this um, kind of wood woody, wood grain, uh, Christmassy background in reds and greens and browns. Okay, and then this little tag, the Candy Canes 5 Cents, is of course from Paper Tray Inks Friendship Jar Holiday Fillers, and I talked about that set on my last video. Um, if you go to Paper Tray Inks website and type in Friendship Jar Series, all of the Friendship Jar Series stamp sets should come up. Okay, I've done it many times, and uh, you should be able to find this one. This is the Holiday Fillers. Okay, so, uh, and then the little tiny tag is uh, a just a small tag die. Um, there's some paper tray and carries them in lots of other places. And I believe Martha Stewart actually has a tag punch of this size, which I am on the hunt for. I need to find that. So, and then I always tie off with uh, fabric scraps or ribbon. This time I used fabric. And um, because I just like the old fashioned feel of that with this particular tag. And then a couple jingle bells. So that is how I created these tags. Um, those are the products that I used, and they're very, very similar. Um, I used uh, this glitter um, from Creatology at Hobby Lobby. I have a huge bottle of it, and I just put glue on these, and then I put that glitter in. So that's where all the sparkle is coming from on these tags. Okay, and they're all very similar. The only difference with this one is that the paper is going um, up and down and this is a slightly different sheet that has Santa's and uh, different things on it. So reindeer right here. So um, so those are the candy cane tags. And now I'm going to move on to some fall stuff. So let me move these out of the way. Um, I'll put those up there so you can still see them. And we're going to move on to, oh, and I do have one other one. This is one that uses um, the journal tag die from Paper Tray Ink. Still the same, uh, all the same products. The only difference is that this one is on a smaller backer. And this is similar to a tag style that I did last year. So I just wanted to kind of do something different this year, but these were leftover, some leftover die cuts. Um, okay, so I'm going to move on to fall. I had to get this stamp set, and this is a Paper Tray Ink stamp set designed by Heather Nichols and all the people at Paper Tray Ink, and it's called Autumn Scarecrow, and when I saw all of the um, design team at Paper Tray Ink using this set, I just fell in love with it. I'm, I just think it is the cutest set, and I had to have it, um, and I created some cards with it that I'm going to share with you. Grab them, they're way up here. So I paper pieced um, the scarecrow. If you follow me on Instagram, I posted a picture of these after I paper pieced them. Uh, I made a bunch of them and I just think they're so cute. And then these are the cards that I ended up creating with them. And this is a new die set. Um, I made this window with a new die set from Paper Tray Ink too. Um, and I can't think of the name of it right now and I didn't pull it for you. Um, but if you go to their uh, new release section. So if you go to papertrayink.com on the very front page, you'll see this die set in there, a set of ovals. Okay, so this is the first card and it says Autumn Wishes. And then this one says Hello Fall. And I didn't paper piece this one, I actually colored him with Copics and I, I made his trousers uh, plaid just by using two different color Copic markers. And then on this one, I added in the pumpkins that come in the set. So this one's a little more um, Halloween-ish or fall. They're all just really basically fall. Um, if you know me, I, I don't like the scary Halloween stuff. I'm, I'm not into that, <laughs> but I love fall and I love autumn products and um, I definitely love scarecrows. So this one says happy autumn birthday. I do have a couple uh, family members that are having birthdays coming up. So um, I needed to get some cards made and this one uses the leaf stamp that comes in the set. And you can see this is the die cut that I was talking about. So on this card, 
I used this piece of paper where I had already die cut this out as a window over some um, wood grain paper. And then on this one, I actually used the die cut and put it against a flowered paper. Okay. So, and I just love how these paper piece scarecrows turned out. They're just adorable. So here's another one. This is another happy birthday one. And this one, her little jacket is, um, has some roses and flowers on it. And then the last one says, hello, fall. And this one, I used a different image from the set. It's just a little uh, branch image. So, and she just had a lot of um, floral on her. So I, I wanted to do something a little more subtle around the outside. And then I used the same floral paper at the bottom. So those are the fall cards. And I am just in love with this sweet, sweet stamp set from Paper Tray Ink and Heather Nichols. Um, I, I really do like Heather Nichols' uh, style of stamps. She just is a really good designer. So again, it's called Autumn Scarecrow if you're interested. And then I have one more set of Christmas tags to share with you. And I'm going to share the products that I used to create them. Okay, the very first thing that I used is this die. And this is called Holly Square. And this is a frantic stamper die and it's Frantic Stamper Die 10025 if you go to their website. So, and uh, just to kind of get an idea of the size, it, that's the size of it, and this is what it looks like. So I use that die, and then I use these square die sets from Paper Tray Ink. I use this top die right there, and the last thing I used is this set of tag dies from Pretty Pink Posh. And Pretty Pink Posh is a, a company that's here in Washington. Uh, and Paulina uh, does a lot of neat dyes, but I use this one um, here for the tag backer that I'm gonna show you. So let me show you this last tag. My video is already getting too long. It's already 12 minutes long, so let's finish this up. Here are these tags, and this is kind of a rustic uh, tag. I actually inked the backer, the white piece here with my usual uh, crumb cake ink from Stampin' Up. And I just did different little um, uh, sentiment tags. And you know those tags are from Lily the Valley in the UK. And I use those every year when I'm making Christmas tags. So I made this one. On this one, I took half the leaf out on each of the die cuts before I glued it down. And then I used pearls for the holly. And then on this one, I did the same thing. I took half of the leaf die cut out. And this one says warm winter wishes. And again, I used fabric for my ties. This one says warm winter wishes too. On this one, I left the whole leaf in. So you get some different looks depending on how you use the dye. And then on this one, um, I left the whole leaf in again and it says warm winter wishes. And uh, the paper that you're seeing here with like the word December on it and everything, that again is from a Rolla Miha shop on Etsy. So that is round two and three of my Christmas tags. I want to thank everybody that left so many beautiful comments on my first round of Christmas tags. And um, thank you for, you know, I just so appreciate you watching my videos. Um, I was watching Jennifer's channel the other night. Uh, Jennifer, I can't think of your channel name right now, but I'll try and link it uh, at the bottom of this video. Um, I was watching Gloria's channel. Um, who is Bible Scraps, uh, and who else did I watch this week? Oh, uh, Elise, uh, Lisey46, she has posted several Christmas tag videos, and I think she's doing a giveaway right now, too. So um, I hope you guys will check out her channel also, and I will hopefully be back with more Christmas and fall inspiration to share with you very soon. So I wish everybody uh, a wonderful weekend and happy crafting, okay? Bye now.